Hello everyone, welcome back to Tales of Arise. So last episode we witnessed tragic, very very tragic death of Zephyr. I know it sucks, like, he's a really good character too, and I hate it when they kill the good characters, you know. But yeah, and also, I know, this is like what, part 12, and uh, I figured out how to play this game properly, like in terms of combat. It took this long for me to play this. Because I don't really play this every day, I play this part time because I'm like, ugh. I get too lazy sometimes whenever I play games, especially new games, I'm like, ugh. I don't wanna play it right now, or should I play it? Nah, fine, I'll play it today. But yeah, I finally figured out how to how the combat mechanic works. It took a while for me to understand, I'm so dumb. Like, I play all the Tales game, but I should've known better, you know? Uh, well, it's okay. Anyway, now it's time to kick... What's his name? Genabel? Yeah. Let's kill him. I'll have his head on a spike. <laughs> also, I... Uh... Where is it? River... Rival Prison Tower? Okay. From the plaza. Got it. Are they crying because of Zephyr? What was the deal with the broadcast? I don't get what was happening, and yet for some reason I can't stop crying about it. Because you cry for, uh... The greatest man to ever live. <laughs> Not Austin Aries, by the way. That guy is a piece of shit. <laughs> no, I'm talking about Zephyr. He's a really good character. The greatest man to ever live. So I'm guessing this is it. Central Plaza Avenue, right? Yeah. Alright, let's kill him. I'll have his head on a spike. <laughs> Oh yeah, I can fight these guys now. Like for example, look at this. I'm not gonna use much of it. Sion! There we go. I'm somewhat can do it now, probably. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. Yes ma'am. Apple gel. Alright, who's this? Oh, Skit, Zephyr's dead. Oh god, no. That damn Ganabelt! Okay, Ganabelt. Yes. I'm not seeing very many enemies around. What's going on? We all do, Law. They probably know we're not going to run away. And are waiting for us to show up. Well, if it's a fight they want, I'll be more than happy to give them one. They're probably inside the Ravel prison tower in the plaza. That's where the Lord here lives. The same building with the spirit vessel that's gathering all the light, huh? We need to be careful of how we go from here. The fact Ganabelt knew about my healing arts and had that poison ready tells me he's extremely dangerous. He's not dangerous. He's just a rat bastard who's getting what's coming to him. I'm telling you, don't underestimate him. We don't know what else he's got in store for us. One misstep on our part is all it's going to take to give him what he wants. <sighs> You're right. Dad, what were you trying to tell me there at the end? I guess it'll have to stay unspoken and unheard. Like all the other things we never got round to telling each other. It's your fault. You killed him. It's because of you he got caught. I hope he's he has like a Luke type of uh, character development kind of thing where he had to where he have to like do something good instead of just you know oh shit I'm gonna go out there for revenge you know I hope he does something good I don't know we'll see I'm, I think that's what they're going for here the character development for Law trying to make it like Luke's uh, character development. But what Zephyr was trying to say, I guess, maybe he was trying to say, You're a fat, stinking drunk! Like Peter fam uh, Peter's dad from Family Guy would say. <laughs> Law, you're a fat, stinking drunk! <laughs> nah, I don't know. I'm kidding. He's not fat and he's not drunk. Maybe. I don't know.
All right, so he's probably uh, probably over there, right? Now in a central plaza, so let's not go over there. Probably here. Yeah, this gate is on lockdown. Oh no, they got COVID there. <laughs> Come any closer, and you're under arrest. How about I kill you? Oh, maybe this is the place where we go after we defeat that bastard, like on the way to the next area or something. But yeah. Alright, let's kill this guy. Interrupt that bitch. Nice. Bam 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 bam. Say no more. There we go. Let's job. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. Yes, ma'am. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save. <laughs> All right, get a belt. Okay, and you're not gonna belt. This guy is it's not gonna belt. So, but we're gonna fight then. Fine. They have a shield, so so this is where law will come to play, right? He says he's gonna he can actually destroy shield, shield breaker, or whatever. It must have heard us earlier. Look at that huge shield. Yeah, it's got so huge. I got this. I'll smash it to pieces. Oh, maybe he has the uh What's that technique from uh Rurouni Kenshin? Uh the one that ha that Sanosuke was it? Futai no Kiwami. Yeah. Futai no Kiwami. Okay, so yeah, this is where law comes in. Breaker fist. Unleash unleashes a, par a forceful blow taught by Zephyr. Okay. Yeah, I figure he learned it from Zephyr. Effective on armor enemies equipped with such protection as shells and shields. It breaks through their defenses and downs them. Tutorial fight! Tutorial fight! Okay, here we go. Oh! <laughs> I got two of them all at the same time. When enemies with shields, shells, and other hard armor emerge, send in law. <laughs> send in law, okay. Normally attacks on such defense from the front will be blocked, but you can use law's boost attack to destroy their armor and expose them. Got it. Did the armor come back afterwards? Blah blah blah. Tidal wave. Damn, that's pretty cool. Blah blah blah. Tidal wave. I keep saying that because. Oh wow! Damn, he kicked that shit. I wonder if we can make new weapons with this. Like. The blah 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 tidal wave is actually from uh, Tales of Vesperia. It's actually one of the uh, tricks that you get to farm great. Uh, it's like you have to use your over limit and then have Rita. No, I shouldn't say her name. The magician spam yeah, must be somewhere inside. tidal wave. How about it, Law? Any idea which way it is? This is a Renin castle. You think they were in the habit of letting a Danon like me inside? Point taken. <laughs> the astral energy's off the scale. Almost like it's pressing down on me. You can feel it? The whole castle must be brimming with it. My hunch is it'll get stronger the deeper we go. It must be the spirit vessel. You can bet anything it's pulsing with stored astral energy. We can't let Ganabelt use it against us. And we can assume that's his plan A. <laughs> let him try. I'll destroy anything he throws at us. You better be. Reveal Prison Tower. That's how you pronounce it. Reveal? <laughs> Law, you better work your ass off. It's your fault we're in this situation. 
I'm blaming you for everything. So, wait, hang on. I know you want us to go there, but can I? Oh, come on, really? Looks like this elevator won't budge. Okay, we gotta try to find to open it. Damn! Isn't there some way we can go up? Calm down, Law. We should we should thoroughly sort this search this floor to see if there are any leads. She's right. For all we know, we might find a way to turn the elevator back on. Yes, you're smart. You're smart, but still. <laughs> Alright, let's go here. <clears throat> Whoa, what's this? It's a shield. This looks like some kind of wall. No getting past here, it seems. Probably meant to keep intruders like us out. Gennabel definitely ain't making this easy, of course. Guess we'll have to find another way around. Guys. Move out of the way, I can bust open a wall like this, no problem, just watch. What, you're gonna uh, use our CP, right? It's one of those things. Alright. Oh, it's only 10. Butai no Kiwami! You look exhausted, Law. You feeling okay? Yeah, nothing I can't handle. Let's keep moving. Die no Kiwami. Alright, let's fight these guys. Shot me! Motherfucker shot me! <laughs> ah, damn it. There we go. Lightning thrust. Alright. I'm right behind you, Shion. You're always behind her. You enjoy being behind her. <laughs> What's this? A pork? I thought it was a wine there. Orange gel. Milk. You. Okay, cool. Alright, so if it gets too repetitive, I'll start cutting out the uh, battle here. So let's fight kill this guy. Not bad. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. I'm ready for my sponge bath. What? <laughs> Ignore me. I tend to ramble when I'm feeling it. For some reason. Chicken. I love chicken. Grilled chicken. <laughs> Apple gel. What's this? Who's this? Hey. Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not your enemy. Oh, yeah? Then who are you? Do you know your enemy? <laughs> Do you know your enemy? If I'm with the silver swords, I take it you're on our side too, yeah? I infiltrated the snake eyes to leak information to them. Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. You're looking for a way to activate the elevator. Sorry, can't say I heard anything about that. Then you're useless to me. <laughs> I don't know if it'll help, but let me tell you about the office. You'll find directly across from the entrance. From what I know, there's supposed to be a device attached to a desk that opened up the door to the block. On the other end of the compound. Yes. The collection room here is probably probably locked. Unfortunately, but there should be a spare key you can use somewhere in this block. Hopefully it'll help you get that elevator online again somehow. Cool. Alright, where <laughs> let me just walk around somewhere before we move on with the story here. Alright, let's fight these guys. These guys look legit. Is your shield break? Thank you. We're not finished yet. I don't need your shit. I can do this by myself. Motherfucking Shizane. Whoa! What was that? Oh, she she used her over limit by herself. Can I tell her not to do that? <laughs> oh, I can't. So she has. So she can use. Over limit all the time, then, huh? I mean, it's not like Tales of the Abyss where you can turn it. Oh shit! <gasps> that was pretty cool. Consuming wildfire. Oh damn, that's overkill. <laughs> I'll shoot down any foe that stands in our way. Hell yeah, honey. Collection room key. Oh, we got the key. <laughs> This place looks completely different from Balsar's castle. Yeah. Every lord has their tastes. Whether this really suits Renan's sensibilities is another matter altogether. Yeah, Balsa prefer rocks and fire. <laughs> How would we know what Renan's like? 
Fatai no Kiwami. <laughs> Balsa prefer rocks and fire, and Ganabel prefer. That equipment should come in handy. Prefer whatever this is. Gallant house, whatever. Garnet. Fire water damage minus minus. I'm guessing the next boss is gonna be based on snow, so it's gonna be water water damage, right? So I'll probably use this. And since there's no poison anymore, I might as well use this. Warrior emblem. Okay, cool. We got the room key. Now we can go back. Oh, there's enemies here. Let's kill it. I'm ready for the next battle. Okay, we're good. Alright, what's next? I want to look at every room first before it's locked. Is it locked with simple lock? Pretty sure you can lock pick it. <laughs> oh wait, wrong game. Yes, use the reflection room key. Let me guess, it's uh, it'll say you don't need this anymore. Discard the key? Yes. <laughs> uh, ignore me, I'll play Resident Evil. I love Resident Evil games. I'll play it during Halloween or something. <laughs> I'll play RE2 and RE3 Remake. I have them, I haven't played them. <laughs> Nicely right. done. Wait, which one we came from? Oh yeah, that way. God, it can be directionally challenged at one at sometimes. What is this place? Some kind of armor? Oh, this is where we get the armor. For decorative purposes than actual combat. Does it matter? We've got a job to do. Yo, where it? Where? This isn't Renan. It's Danon. Really? And not just this one either. All of these. It's all Danon gear. What's Danon equipment doing on display inside a Renan castle? It's a um, museum. Ask later if you're so interested. But for now, we've got more pressing matters to attend to. Remember? Oh come on, wear it. Get that armor. This is the one that this is the one that he wears, right? Maybe we get it later? I don't know. Maybe after we fight Gannabel. What's this? Sure enough, you found a button under the desk. Press it, yes. Watch, enemy comes out. The doorway of Nor of the entrance seems to have unlocked. Did this open the door? We still don't know how to activate the elevator. There's a wind blowing through a gap. Upon closer inspection, it's a clay keyhole. That bastard giving us the run around. So maybe there's a key here somewhere. No. Damn it. I had you just have to be this way, huh? Cannabelle. <laughs> Uh, okay, there's nothing in here. I oh, got it. Let's go out and go into that door that was locked earlier, maybe. So, yep. It's guarded, so it must be important room. Bullshit! Lightning Tiger Blade! Hell yeah! We can really make weapons with this? What? Oh, yeah. Yes, you're gonna learn how to make weapons if you hang on with us. <laughs> you have to repent for your mistake. Just like Luke did. <laughs> the redemption arc. They keep a Zuga locked up down here? Why? I've heard rumors that oh, they shit. the prisoners to one instead of executing them. Do you think... Stop it! This is a uh, what do you call it? A giganto. Maybe I can fight it later. Cerberus looks like interesting. Ah boy. Like I know you're alive. I know you're alive. Don't you fucking say you're not alive. <laughs> you're gargoyle. I can tell. 
once I pick this up, you're alive. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so it's a flying enemy. Flaming sword. The flaming swing, I mean. Oh, that was weak. That was easy. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. I think because we have four people, it's now much making things easier than before. Hang on, I need to use my sage here. Increase your HP, right? I'm gonna give it to Rinwell. Alright, let's kill this. Alright, we're good. Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. Ooh, it's first Does floor this look elevator, like an key. elevator key. To you guys? Only one way to find out. Let's go. Only one way to find out, yes. But can I open this thing though? It's locked, yes, I know. But can I destroy it? <laughs> Guess not. Alright, I'll see you later, pal. I'll kill you next time. So we can go back and take the elevator. Second floor. Hooray. How many floors are there? It looks like it's high now. From the outside. Oh my lord. Do you sense one of your friends, Noodle? The Danon Black Armor. Hmm. Are you still thinking about that armory with all the Danon equipment? <laughs> yeah. Especially that black armor. I don't think I've ever seen anything from Dana that looked so nice. Yeah, take it. I can tell you that it was definitely Danon. It was made using techniques found only here. That's how I know. But ever since the Renans came, our civilization's been scrubbed out bit by bit. Hardly anything's left now, which is why most people don't remember. But why would the Renans have something like that? Unless it was the spoils of war. Probably. It must be a token of the Danans who fought and lost in the past. Or rather, that the Renans were able to beat them. Armor that nice? Must have been worn by a commander of some sort. They might have even been a Danon hero. A hero, huh? A fallen hero, maybe. I hate to see all that stuff fall into Renan hands. But it's amazing to see that so much of it has survived. You into this kind of stuff then, Renwell? Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess. Are we done here? We don't want to keep Ganabelt waiting any longer. <clears throat> Stop flirting, you guys. This is not the time for it. By the way, you spotted your friend, right? Where is it? Just maybe in the other room somewhere. Chicken. Why is there so many chicken in some weird ass place? And pork! <laughs> oh, God. What am I playing? <laughs> Alright, that's taken care of. Oh boy, three of them. I'm ready for the next battle. All right, we're good. Sarah is big. Uh oh. Crap! This elevator's stuck too. I'm sure we, if we look around this floor, we'll find a key or something that can help. Yeah. Same seas as last night. I heard a loud roars. What the hell is that? Uh huh. Barely a blip on our radar. Damn right. Can I see a bottle? Why? Why is it showing? Oh, okay, I guess it's part of like a quest or something. They're down this wall. Yeah. Break the walls down. It's the big show. And Jericho. <laughs> that equipment should come in handy. Yeah, that was the old days. The Jerry show. <laughs> Tag team. What did we get again? Oh yeah. Midi blouse. And yes, as you can tell, I 
I know pro wrestling. Like I watched pro wrestling back when Attitude Era, all the way up to CM Punk Era, and then Daniel Bryan Era. I stopped after watching what's his name, Reigns took over because I really don't like it. I find Roman Reigns to be boring, to be honest. Like his character is so generic. I know that I heard that he's a heel now. He, but still, it doesn't change anything. He's still at the top. No matter what, no matter what they did, like oh, he's it's a he finally they finally made him a heel. But no, it's still shit. He's, he's still at the top, no matter what. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it's kind of boring. All right, let's kill these guys. Seems about right to me. Okay, moving on. The time of Kiwami. All right, I need to restore my uh, thing here. Now we can keep moving. Don't overdo it, bro. <clears throat> I guess now, uh, what's his name? Alfin gets to be the big bro for Law. <laughs> Hot couture. That's for me. Any injuries? Cool. Wait, I heard the What's owl. I heard some owl. <laughs> ah, I knew it. That took more energy than I expected. Yeah, what the hell was that? The red arm, uh, the red knight was actually really tough. Hmm. Are you here? Looks of it, yeah. Treat, yay! Ah, I see you. Devil horns. Hmm? You're saying we should check the owl forest? Now? Screw that. <laughs> Wait, what's this? You found an elevator control panel. Press it. Yes. You heard something activating the L square. Okay. You think the elevator's activated now? Should be. Let's check and find out. We're coming for you, Ganabelt. We're coming for you, Ganabelt. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, of course it's guarded. Oh no, it's by the same fucking red knight. Ah, <laughs> uh, I hate these guys. Oh. Okay, we need to take care of the ads first before we fight the Lightning Tiger Blade. <coughs> we need to keep up the uh, combo here because let's do a hundred shot. Hey, come on! Ah, damn it! Keep it up! Keep it up! Keep it up! Yes, one hundred! Fuck yes, we did it. We did it a hundred. <laughs> Use your uh. 168? Yo, this is pretty sick! We did it. It took everything, but you know. It's okay. Okay, looks like I'm this. For you, the Light Lord. Hey, hold up a sec, guys. What's up? We need to talk about Ganabelt. What's there to talk about? This guy can control both light and lightning. And I've heard his swordsmanship is unrivaled. I'm not surprised. He is one of the top lords, after all. That's not all. He also has these weird little gadgets that he likes to use. Gadgets? You mean like some kind of a Renin weapon? Probably. He's got a bunch of these things that hover all around him. 
They're supposed to protect him from attacks coming in at any angle. I take it there aren't any blind spots then. Great. Nope. Which is why I plan to bust down his defenses from the front. What? Why? Isn't that where his defense will be the toughest? That's why it's worth attacking. Once I poke a hole in that bastard's defenses, the rest of you can tear it wide open and give him hell. <laughs> All right. Wide we'll open, huh? Plan, tear it wide open. Okay. Now let's get going. It's about time we got revenge for Zephyr. All right. Yes, heal. Okay. So I'm gonna end the part here since I know I'm ending it in a cliffhanger. I know it's my specialty, pretty much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I hope to see you guys very very soon and I hope you have an amazing day or night whichever. Thank you for watching. Stay safe you guys. Later.